If you are wondering whether you should have an FUE or FUT hair transplant, I can help you to decide. Patients who benefit from doing FUT hair transplant. Patients who benefit from doing FUE hair transplant. Hi, I'm Dr. Ko, and today we're going to talk about FUE and FUT hair transplant. If you are wondering whether you should have an FUE or FUT hair transplant, I can help you to decide. Both FUE and FUT can be customized to the patient. Which one is better will vary from patient to patient. So I will explain when FUE or FUT might be a better option. Patient who benefit from doing FUT hair transplant. Those with a low volume of donor hair can benefit from doing FUT rather than FUE hair transplant. If you have small amount of hair in the back, taking hair one by one by FUE may result in further loss of density, which can make the back look hollow. In this case, it is best to proceed with FUT transplant to avoid losing hair density. Additionally, for patients with very curly hair, FUE method may cause damage to the harvest hair. In order to reduce the damage caused by harvesting process, it is recommended to proceed with the FUT method. Patients who benefit from doing FUE hair transplant. Uh, those who have good hair density can benefit from doing FUE hair transplant. These patients are candidate for both FUE and FUT hair transplant. However, FUE allows for selective harvesting of hair which means that the only the healthier hairs can be picked out and be harvested. In this case, you may end up with better result by doing FUE hair transplant. Okay, that is all. And if you have more questions, let me know. Send us an email and I'll send, I'll send a reply back as soon as I can. Thank you very much.